Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Power of the Force 2, and today, instead of looking at a figure or anything like that, a figure, we'll look at my collection. Right, here's a quick start, I guess. This is my, well, it's the guest room, but it's also our library, as you will see in a second. Uh, I'll have Star Wars sheets, so I should get them. I'm sure they made them in the 90s. But we do have these, this blanket and the pillows, which I got when I worked at uh, the Subway in a Walmart. These are all on clearance, obviously from when Rogue One came out. I like them. Right, next we're going to look at my computer games. Sorry. So I'm going to lift. Nope. Sorry, you're probably seeing a couple of random things in here. This is also where I keep all my Lego stuff. I'm also a Lego collector. Uh, not really a Lego Star Wars collector. Though I do have a lot of the old stuff. But that's mostly in like bins and they're not put together. Alright. Hi, it's me. Alright, so we're going to look at my big box games real quick. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of other stuff up here that's great. Slow Lego games. Goes that way. This is more RPG stuff. Uh, there's some weird kid stuff. That's a lot of fun. Treasure Math Storm. This Spider-Man interactive CD-ROM, but we're here for this. So there's uh, original Rebel Assault. Yeah, because it's easiest if I pull them out because I have the light on. Classic Tie Fighter. This one I love. Uh, I remember seeing it as a kid. I think at Costco. And I wanted it like real bad. Or it might have been at like Office Max. But it's the LucasArts Archives Volume 2. It comes with uh, Rebel Salt. Is that the first one? Or, no, that's Rebel Assault 2, the Making Magic, uh, First Rebel Assault, TIE Fighter, and Dark Forces. Uh, is Yoda Stories. Actually, uh, working with a friend of mine on a well, I appear in his video about Yoda yeah, stories. There's X Wing vs. TIE Fighter. Sorry, I realize this is going to be a very long video, but hopefully you all like it. Here's one of the best games. Let's see the Old Republic. And then here's Galaxies Empire Divided. Actually, I haven't played this. Pretty good things. Uh, this box is pretty damaged. 
but it's uh, Galaxy's Jump to Light Speed, the first expansion. It's pretty sad. And then we have Star Wars Galaxy, the total experience. Sets the game plus all three expansions. Empire at War, that's just in like a hard case. Not nearly as fun as the regular stuff. And then this one's a fun one. Best of PC. Sorry. So that's Empire at War, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, Battlefront. Uh, oh, Jedi Outcast, and then Republic Commando. So that's all my, uh, Star Wars PC games. I have a couple there, just the gem, the, the case, you know, but that's only two. So now we're gonna look at books. Got a lot of books. <coughs> So yeah, sorry if Lego stuff in the way. It's just where it goes. Let me see if I can. That guy helps. Right, so first books up here. It's just Old Republic, Darth Bane, Darth Maul, and some kids books. Episode one. I have a kid book, Rogue Planet. Yeah, and we're gonna do this. I know this isn't that exciting, so I just want to get through it, and then we'll go into the, well, what my wife calls the nerd room. So this is just, yeah, four bucks. Uh, yeah, just, uh, prequel books until about here. Then this is all original trilogy. I don't think I can lower this more. Oh, I can. Uh, down there is uh, the rest of the original trilogy books, and then uh, New Republic, and then a couple of the oldest stuff. Oh, great. Alright, so here's the uh, last of the books we're looking at. So, up here, these two books. These are the ones I use, like, in my videos, or for research, this top one, Action Figure Archive. I think I've talked about it before. Uh, it has all the vintage figures and all the Power of the Force figure. well, almost all the Power of the Force figures. Cuts off, like, right before the end. And then Super Collector's Book, which is not made by... Uh, well, it's not official, I should say. That's got, well, it's got almost everything up to, like, 2002. But that's more of a, it's like a price guide for the time. But you could still see a lot of stuff in it. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, over here. Uh, well, first, there's a issue of Star Wars Galaxies in there. And then this is all Star Wars Insider. Uh, I, I'm behind. The last issue I got was 212. I don't know what the current one is. Then uh, 20th Anniversary Commemorative Magazine. Here's the technical journals that we talked about that one time. And then all these are just magazines Star Wars has appeared in. So, it, like... Yeah, let me take these off. I'll show you. 
at least one or two. This time. But yeah, it goes back. I think the oldest thing I have is maybe this. This first issue of time. Yeah, it's for Empire. Crap. They are not cooperating. Here's that issue though. Pretty cool. Arch villain Darth Vader. Uh, so yeah, that continues basically the modern day stuff. Then the technical journals, or not the technical journals, we just talked about those. The essential guides. I love the essential guides, they're fantastic. Uh, I think I'm missing one, plus I have one of the new essential guides. I can't remember which one I'm missing. Star Wars Encyclopedia. I always wanted that as a kid. Uh, didn't get it until I was an adult. Oh, well. Yeah. This is uh, Clone Wars Character Encyclopedia. This is just Character Encyclopedia. This is Star Wars Year by Year. It's really cool. Really cool book. Actually came with two prints. I have them right here. I need to frame them. There's a production shot. Uh, and then the other one. Is this uh, lightning concept for lightning. Lightning concept for the Clone Wars. Uh, and Star Wars Universe, Star Wars from concept to screen to collectible, and then visual guides, making of, and then cross sections, then this is the Old Republic Encyclopedia, and the Old Republic Explorer's Guide, and then over here, be hard to see, but it's all the uh, current books. So over there was the old. Yeah, this was the old books. These are our new books. I have more down here. Not much to really talk about about those. And the only other things I have, let me pull them out, are some comics. So I got Force Unleashed, uh, Dark Times, Volume 1, that's a good one, uh, uh, here's a uh, classic Star Wars. This was the newspaper strips. Stuff is falling now. There's the first trade for Marvel Star Wars. And then the last thing I have is the this is the two pack of uh, yeah, Vader's old princess and Darth Vader and son. Who's that? So that's this room, and uh, so next we're gonna go into the room where I film. Uh, that's where I keep most of my stuff, obviously, and. Uh, it's, it's a little messy, plus there's a lot of stuff in the way for my filming, you know, like lights and stuff. So let's go over there. Alright, so we're back in the room, and we're first looking at this. So up here, that's a, it's like a 
ad for Pepsi where it's saying you can get commemorative, commemorative edition trilogy posters. Next to that is one of the Droid Factory figures. It's a two-pack for The Last Jedi. Uh, but mainly, right here, which, let me lower the camera. Uh, this is a Star Wars Nerds display. Uh, I got it at my work. <laughs> Uh, you know, they were getting rid of it. I was like, well, I'll buy it. Also, next, uh, I put one of the mascot straps here. The other ones are right here from that video. Uh, I see you get more push pins, so I can put them right there. Uh, I also, since I film partially right next to here, I kind of use this as a shelf, so up top is a Luke figure. Oh, I also, when I got this from my work, I also bought the candy that goes in it. So I leave it up there. So there's that. Here's uh, that figure. <laughs> Here's uh, one of those card stands that I use to hold up figures. Then below that, there's that Tombola box that I bought that I want to do a video about. Next to that, this is the, uh, for that Stormtrooper, uh, Con that I got. So there's that. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna look up. So up here is where I fell. Sorry, I'm gonna pass on by. be uh, hard to see, but up here, those are, uh, well, the first, well, they're, sorry, they're both uh, builder droids from Disney. Uh, the first one, this yellow boy, uh, let me pull it down real quick. Yeah. That I actually found at, uh, I think, Goodwill or something like that. Ow. So, of course, I bought that when I saw it. And then the one next to it. Uh, this is the one I made when I went to... Uh, Disney World for my, uh, God, what's it called? Why am I forgetting? Uh, yeah, <laughs> after you get married. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blanking, but yeah. Uh, me and my wife got married, then we went to Disney World. And that's that, I guess. Okay. Next to it, on this side, this is my wall of uh, Power of the Force figures. So you can see well, all the figures we've covered so far, plus the next figure is Yoda. I don't have the loose figure yet, so I need to buy that before we can do it. And then... It continues down with some figures I already have. And uh, these figures 
do not go there in order. <laughs> but uh, I was playing them there so I could continue putting down the tax. Uh, but I kind of gave up. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, I'll finish it eventually. Down on the floor. There is a uh, sand crawler. That's from Disney Parks, I believe. Uh, next to that, down there, that's that uh, the X-wing I talked about last video. Right. So now we're gonna move a little bit. got crap everywhere. It's mostly, uh, well, stuff to record these videos with. Uh, there's my chair. You see me in my chair all the time. But, we're going up. So, I figure it's a two-pack. It's Leon Han. That's much later. I don't know when we're covering that. Uh, next to it are the uh, some vehicles. There's the Falcon, Snow Speeder, yeah, the Outrider, and next to that is something special. I don't think I could get cl any closer with it. I'll grab it though. Uh, it's very rare. That's why I keep it up there. Uh, it's not Power of the Force, because there's nothing rare in Power of the Force. Sorry about walking in front. Okay. It is... Yeah, let me get behind the camera again. It's a uh, blue snaggle tooth. So I actually got this. My wife found it. Uh, the two of us were at Value Village. There was a bunch of vintage figures, so I picked up some. They're all in bags, and then she finds another bag that has blue snaggle tooth in it, and I was freaking out. So. <laughs> That's that. I know you'd probably like me to talk about it a little more, but... Uh, maybe one day. Obviously, it's not what I cover on this channel. Okay, up there. Uh, above the Falcon is the vitamins I covered. Next to that is some electronic stuff. Where's the... It's kind of hard to see. Let me move to the right. Uh, it's a uh, quiz whiz. Quiz whiz? Then a uh, flashlight keychain. And then R2 D2 ditto sounds. Below that is. Uh, it's. Uh, well, you know, I, I showed the. Fruit Loops for the Han uh, figure. So that's a Lay's Pizza bag for uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. So, I mean, I'll show that eventually. Then over here, let's go up a bit. Well, up top, that's that tops, uh, God, what is it? The cards and the candy heads. That I covered, and then next to that, and below, that is all Resite stuff, except for those pens. Those are not. I've talked about it, of how I'm getting them. Uh, this is what I got so far for that kind of stuff. 
I don't know, there's a... Here. There's my chair in the way, but I'll try and do what I can. That's uh, my end screen, obviously. That's my, uh, where all my figures are, all my uh, loose figures. That's where all the Power of the Force ones are. But below that, that's all the uh, basically original trilogy plus new stuff. Uh, one. And then below that, which is going to be hard to see, that's all prequel like Clone Wars stuff. Uh, over here is my uh, table and crap. Uh, there's some vintage collection figures that I just don't have room uh, yet, there's my computer and all my stuff. Uh, yeah, let me spin my thing around again. Because back here, I have a couple more things. Uh, there's a whiteboard I got. Target, I believe. Uh, my wife wrote on it. Sorry, this is an angle, but uh, so some stuff down here. Uh, my hat's down here because I'm not wearing it. Guess I can talk about that real quick. I got this at either Goodwill or Value Village. It's obviously the special edition. But uh, what's most interesting, what you never see, there's a Pepsi logo on the back. So I assume this had something to do with Pepsi or like Taco Bell, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, then I have a couple of things down here. I have uh, the land speeder. Uh, these Galaxy Series 2 cards. And then uh, here's some of the Rose Art, like, I don't even know what to call them, like, not school supplies. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the 3D crayon by number, and then the designer desk. That's not the greatest box. Whoop. Yeah, as you saw, I'm really close to getting all of the, like, school supply stuff, but I missing a lot of that. Uh, behind that, that's the Fruit Loops box from uh, the Han episode. So then we're gonna... I collect a lot of things, so you'll see a lot of random things in here. But we're going over here. So, up top. Actually, let me tilt it that way a little bit before we look at that stuff. So that and that, that's from Taco Bell. That's the kids' mailboxes. I think there might be another one, but I don't know. Uh, I guess you can see a little bit over here. Here's a card from my wife. It's hard to see, but it's, uh, I've got a good feeling about this. Uh, there's the picture of me as a kid. I don't know if you can see that at all. No, you kind of can't. Uh, R2-D2 cop. Uh, behind that is, um, Obis. That's the official Star Wars Lucasfilm fan club booklet. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Maybe, I mean, it's not from the 90s, but sometime we can look at it. I don't see why not. 
Uh, next to him is this. Here, let's tilt more that way. Uh, it's a weird, like, Darth Vader little standy. Standy's not the right word. Uh, it's made of, like, heavy plastic. This is a piece of the Quake Dragon. So, let me... It's, I mean, it's a very small piece, but it's still a, a piece. Yeah. I'm very happy I own that. Uh, come on, bud. There we go. Uh, Star Wars cereal. Next to that, this does not want to cooperate. One second. There we go. Uh, that's right, Star Wars cereal. There's some Pez clips, I guess. Three Droid Factory figures. Boba Fett. I, I don't remember what that line is called. It's really cool though. And this like thing has most of my other Star Wars stuff on it. A lot of small stuff. So let's look down. All those cops. Uh, I think I talked about working at Subway. I uh, worked at Subway a uh, long time ago, for three years at my current job. I worked there for five years, so three years ago or so. Uh, but I got all those cups when I was working there, and I decided I needed them. Oop. Sorry. Uh, that's a bag. That's a little wind-up Stormtrooper. That's a Star Wars fan club membership kit. It's pretty cool. I think the only thing next to them you might be able to see that's not laying down. It's just one of those, like, goldable metal... Millennium Falcons. So now we're gonna get a little closer because there's a ton of bunch of pins, a bunch of other things. There's some Japanese candy I got like uh, a long time ago. Definitely should not eat it. Let's do that. Okay, so these two pins, they are from the, uh, the original trilogy came back out for special editions. This pin here, let's see if I can get a little taller so we can look down a bit. Oh, I'm kicking things. Okay, so yeah. That's from Phantom... Uh, sorry. Seeing episode one in 3D. If you, like... Uh, it's for a charity. They're like, hey, if you, you can get this if you... Uh, like, give money to this charity. So... I did. It's also this Yoda one. I don't know where it's from. 
There's these Galaxy Edge ones. I have not been yet, but I did buy those pins. Uh, some Episode 1 pins. Uh, both for when it comes out on DVD. This is one of the one of the film strips for the special edition episode one box on tape. Uh, this it's like a French sticker. It looks like this. Uh, it's from like a whole sticker series. There's the back. in multiple languages. Uh, it's one of the 30th anniversary uh, coins from the figures. There's a band of tracks. Um, I can't even think. This I uh, got in a uh, limited edition episode 3 thing. It came with this coin. So it's hard to see. Uh, another episode one pin. Here's that Japanese candy. It's like a biscuit. It's a stormtrooper pencil with arms. Um, the other episode one pin. Uh, episode two pin back there, and another one. Let's see. That down. There's a. Let me move these. It's another episode two pen. I believe this was a big ticket or something. It's very long. It's admit one screening pass. Uh, I don't know if people sell this stuff, <laughs> and I buy it. So, you know, and then the same person who gave me the Japanese cookies gave me this Japanese Java, like, notepad. Very cool. Sorry, that was all unseeable. Right, now we're going to go down, look at some stuff. I didn't even do that on this. Let's do this. Oop. Oh, I'm kicking things. Um, those are all McDonald's toys, I think. Uh, below that, all those bags. Those are Subway Star Wars stuff. Toys, I guess. Some random stuff. There's a galactic... What is this? Connections. Oh, I remember that when that came out. So, is that... Okay, so those were for uh, episode 7. And then the ones below that... That's for Rebels. Uh, there's also some... Spoons. I don't know where. I got bought those online. I saw them. I'm like, I don't know what these spoons are, but I want them. Uh, yeah, let me back away a bit so you can see a little more. Sorry, that's my giant tie fighter. Okay, over here up top, there's a uh, the guy a uh, sign who uh, did the voice of Wedge. Apparently, the guy who did the voice is not the guy who acted as him. I did not know that. Uh, below that are two Micro Machine sets. Then, on that side, there's uh, one of the three packs. And then, it's kind of hard to see, behind the... Uh, calendar as the TIE Fighter and then the X-Wing is next to that. Uh, okay. 
So let's continue on. All right, now we're looking at my ceiling. This poster right here was when they were putting the uh, movies back out, the uh, special editions. Uh, this is actually one from Pizza Hut. Uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. Uh, and then below that, unfortunately, it's going to be a little bright. So, this one right here, uh, it's for the intergalactic draw. Um, it's actually pretty cool. So, it's a bunch of stuff you could win. Life size Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Han Solo, Carbonite, plus some smaller stuff. That lithograph, I re always remember seeing that as a kid. Uh, some maquettes, a helmet, mugs. Oh, I remember those mugs. Ooh, a pinball machine. That's cool. Uh, and then next to that one, I'll have to. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see with me. There is, I mean, my light's right there, and I have my light on. Uh, it's a Spanish poster. This one right here. It's uh, with the chip company, Tabritas. Uh, it's all in uh, Spanish, but it's... Uh, also for the the new trilogy, new trilogy, it's when they came back out. Same as I think all these are around the same time. It's cool. It shows like these little uh, like tokens or something that are three D. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about it. Uh, I got all three of these from the same place guy who sells stuff online. Right, they had those two. Uh, that one. The one with Kylo on it. My friend gave that to me. He got two when he went. It was, I think, the first Force Friday or whatever they call it. Uh, from Toys R Us. It says Toys R Us on the bottom. And then next to that is a small poster I got when I saw The Last Jedi. Uh, okay. Um, so the, I think the one other poster sorry, I'm moving the camera is don't do that. Yeah, that one over there. Let's see if I can. Not the DC one, obviously, but the. Uh, what next to it? That's from the Star Wars Fan Club. Uh, it's just like I showed the Star Wars Fan Club booklet earlier. I didn't open it up, but it has a bunch of stuff in it. I, I There's a poster in there, too. That one's from the 80s, I believe. That poster's from the 90s. And... So last thing I'm going to show is like my movies and video games. So here. Right, so here's all my VHS except one. 
which I'll talk about in a second. So I have, these are the first releases of Star Wars. I only have Star Wars, well, A New Hope and Empire. I need to find Jedi at some point. These are the, here, let me move them in order. Okay, so after that, this trilogy. Uh, I like this box a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, oh, I guess that would be the front, but take the box off. It's got the tapes inside and it opens like that. Pretty cool. Okay, next to that is this one. Uh, this is not my specific copy I had, but this is the version I had as a kid that I watched. Uh, it's cool. So this is what I think of when I think of the trilogy as a kid. So I also have a matching making of Star Wars. Uh, the shelf that was on this broke, so all, all this stuff is just on the ground in my living room, and I couldn't find it, but it looks just like that, except it's got, like, gold text that says, thank you, Star Wars. Then there's this version, which is very similar, like this so that last one's like 97, 98. Wait, oh, it must have been earlier because this is 97. But, uh, let's see. Uh, it's 95. Yeah, and there's this one. Uh, so let's look at DVDs next, I guess. Uh, these are not in uh, order. They just are in a pile that I have. Uh, so I've been... Sorry. When these came out, I was trying to just get the best Blu-ray version. Uh, I missed some of them. I didn't get them all. There's Rogue One. Okay. Uh, this, the outer case, is the glue, like, came apart or something. But, there's Rise of Skywalker. Here's episode two and one. Okay. Uh, next is Club Wars season five. I don't have all of the Club Wars. I just have that and then the last missions. Full screen episode three. I definitely need to get a better version for that. Here's what I was talking about where I was getting all the nice versions, but I didn't get solo when it came out, so I just have this DVD version. Oh, uh, I also have all of Rebels on DVD. But my friend's borrowing it. But it's season one of Resistance. Here's Last Jedi. And The Force Awakens. And then 
Oh boy. Here's the trilogy. This comes with a bonus disc as well. Okay. That's all my movies. Title Wicked Games. So I'm just gonna grab random games. Show them real quick. Boom. Shadows of the Empire. Fantastic game. Uh, here's the greatest hits version of PlayStation, Phantom Menace, it's a really fun game to be honest. I did have it as a kid, but I had a friend who had it. Uh, Battlefront, oh, actually that reminds me, I also have original Battlefront but I didn't grab it. My fault. Uh, Battlefront 2. Here's Rebel Assault 2. I think all these games are fantastic. Here is Episode 1 Racer. Lego Star Wars 2 and my last game Rug Squadron. <sighs> Jeez. Sorry about the long video, but that's basically my collection. I'm sure there's a couple weird knickknacks or stuff I forgot, but oh well. Um, yeah, so next episode, it's going to be something fun and special, and speaking of that, uh, the video I'm in of my friends, that is up, and there's going to be a link in the description to see that. It's a lot of fun, uh, it's about the best game ever. Yoda stories. So I hope you go and see that. And then my next video will make more sense. See you later.